You know this one. Favourite morning run. Let's see what the road's like this morning. Just be camera. Alright. Hey, we found out who does the. Um, we found out who used to do the long distance running. The old bloke that used to do the old, old dis long distance running. And, um, and then had his money taken by, by a young girl. He, he got all this money from like donations for running and stuff, right? Just being a good runner. And, um, and they met this young girl, I think in WA or something, somewhere. And then she took a lot of his money and they split or something. But yeah, it was Cliff Young. And when he first started running, he didn't even have um, runners. He was running gum boots. Fair income. Gum boots. You don't believe me? YouTube um, or Google or whatever, or search. Shouldn't use those words. But anyway, search. Um, Cliff Young. Gumboots and all. As one of my viewers said, gumboots and all. And then eventually they like gave him runners, like people donated runners to him and stuff. I don't think he had a penny. I don't think he had a penny, and I wonder if he even um, had enough water in that for his running. I'm not sure what his situation was, but I'd guess that he was a farmer that was struggling or something, and he just gave up on life and thought, fuck it, I'm running. <laughs> and then from, from that moment of despair when he decided to run, that was it. And um, and, uh, and that's how it all started. He probably left the farm, started running, and that's it. Cliff Young. It's funny because I thought, no, his name's that Young because I was trying to recall his. his his name, right? And I thought, nah, not young, he was old. What am I thinking of young for? But it was true. His name was Cliff Young. And he had a bit of a cliffhanger of a life. Cracker. Let's see if I catch this green light here, eh? And that red light. Okay. That means I'll catch the green one. Okay, go green soon. Now, legal, legal, illegal. Oh, this is legal. I can do that. I know that. We're still talking legals and legal, illegals? Right. Well, I know I can do that. Maybe some of you are going to comment on the fact that I went over the line or something at, at the lights. I've never seen that to be an issue going over the line. Oh, at the lights. I mean, as long as you let Granny walk walk across the intersection and you're not blocking her and I think it's a good thing now this is what some of you might think is illegal hang on oh, I can't do it he's blocking the way I was gonna go down the right well I'll go down the middle then so be it no right it's down the middles This is what you probably think when you go in the, in the lane beside the straight. Do that sort of thing. But you know what? If someone catches you doing it, and as long as you've used your blinker, um, there's not much they can do about it. I've, I've been to court about that. And the decision was you can practically do whatever you want on the road as long as you indicate it and everyone can 
see what you're doing and um, it's clear what you're doing so yeah guidelines that's what they are guidelines to your riding and driving yeah satellites it don't go over the line because you don't want to block nannies and cats balls and dogs crossing the road right um, and if going over the line means you get in front of the car then do it like don't don't sit between the cars do you know what I mean if you if you sit between the cars and stall it yeah, you're <laughs> you are um, you're uh, ooh, you're gonna be you're gonna be vulnerable see look don't see the lights I'm gonna go over the line see instead of staying in but I'll get in front of the car you see I'm not blocking any pedestrians walking there's no pedestrians walking if there was I'd back it off a bit but I'll get in front of the car so if I stall it um, no one's taken off in this lane and then I can have the time and safety to um, to start my bike up again you see get run over by cars flying past me yeah lots of little things so that's why I say yeah there's rules there's law in that but you gotta you gotta use your uh, you gotta use your numb nuts you know you gotta use your numb nuts it's like the other day in Fitzroy Alexandria Parade I, I did go between a curb and a car but <coughs> the lane was like one and a half lanes wide and if I there was no space on the right side of the car because he was right driving close to the his the other lane so um, there's plenty of space on the left side and it's like one and a half lanes worth you know and then it became and then the lane opened up anyway do you know what I mean it's like what are you going to do? Sit there and go, oh no, I can't. Oh, there's so much space. Oh, but I can't. Oh, there's so much space and it looks so safe to do this. So, oh no, I can't. Right. And then you got to wait like 10 meters before you're there, so you have to do it. Ah, nah. I say do it. And if, if someone pulls you over about it, say, well, exactly what I said. And if they book you, you go to court with it. And you say exactly what I said. Your Honour, I used my blinkers, there's plenty of space, it wasn't exactly a, a lane per se, as a normal lane, it was actually a bit wider, Your Honour, and it, the lane did open up down the road, so Your Honour, it's, you know, it, 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 do you know what I mean? Because, yeah, if you're in the city, and you're trying to ride between the curb and cars, yeah, that's fair enough, you should be riding between the curb and the cars. If they're stopped and you're just crawling past them, yeah, but not riding between the curb and the cars. Because cur cars will quite often just pull over. And if you're on the curb, well, you're going you're gonna to be crushed, boy. You're going to be crushed like a pine. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, you don't want to be riding. That's the whole reason for the curb. You see, you've got to see the reasoning behind these laws and things. And if you know the reasoning behind the laws, then you know how to apply them and you know how to um, not apply them when appropriate where they fit and where they don't fit there's, there's one thing I've learnt is there's no black and white to road laws and lines and things you try your best to do the black and white thing but really you've got to apply um, you've got to apply good judgement I was just waving with my blinker there. Blink left, blink right, blink left, blink right. So not technically, I'm not splitting. I was just really waving, you see? Mm. Yeah, know what I mean, Captain? Ah, yeah, yeah. I got to get through. You cannot stop at me, Captain. I gotta get through. I gotta make, oh, I had my high beam on, smackers. I always do that. As I come home, I put the high beam and I forget to take it off. 
no lights up there as I come home at night. Up in the up in the sticks. Now here, see, I always get in front of the car. It's like you're making a statement. It's like, hey, I'm here, man. So, watch me. If I fall or stall, don't be, don't be taken off. Just um, look out for me, yeah. Cool. So sometimes it doesn't pay to go quick. Actually, quite a lot of times it doesn't pay to go quick. Just get some lights. Best just mediocre, you know. Oh, just the neck is. Okay. Neck is check. Hand warmers, check. Warm vest, check. Merging traffic, check. Green light, check. Red light camera, check. Speed camera, check. Oh, look at that! Did you see the light change? Oh, that's why they got that camera there. Oh, do you see the timing? I, I, I tell you, I just want to swear now. Oh, I tell you. Oh, fucking, oh, mung, mungles, mungles, I tell you, mungles. Do you see how they time that? So anyone at the front of the lights there, if, if that was, if that was the car going a bit slower than I was, because bikes pretty quick take off, so I managed to get through only with my sheer takeoff speed, otherwise it'd be stopped there again. Like, seriously, this is the main road, guys, all right? You planners and banners and things, main, this is the main road. And you've got your lights going like that, like it should, they, they, it should just all flow. It should just all flow going to the city. Oh, I don't know. It's disappointing, I reckon. So a fraction slower, and that would have got me. And that's that's how they get you. They sort of time the lights so the next one's not quite right, and then you're forced to make this decision about should I, would I, could I, and. Bang, bingo. Should I, could I, will I, bingo. Gotcha. You see? Oh. Oh, it's terrible timing. It's got to be a science to this light stuff. Oh, uh, actually that could be the problem. Is that people think there's probably a science to this light synchronization crap. I don't think there is. I think it's just, if anything going to the city or going out of the city, it should all be synced. That's it, period. The rest follows that. How hard can it be? Alright, so, squeeze my way through, and it's going to go green right now. There we go. Stint and uh, leave me some comments. Ever banter, ever netter. Let me know what you think. Was there a legal? A legal? Mm. Which one was it? And leave a link to the to the data. I'm always interested in the data. Like I know Big Roads has got data, but if someone if someone has got the data, they know where it is. Sh share it. We'll have a read. See what the data is. All right, later.